The United States Army Reserve is the 105-year-old Federal Reserve Force of the United States Army. The Army Reserve became a reality on April 23, 1908, when President Theodore Roosevelt signed into public law a Senate bill creating the Medical Reserve Corps. The bill authorized the Army to draw medical reserve officers to active duty in the event of an emergency. This shaped the overall view and mission of what the Army Reserve would soon come to be. The Army Reserve provides trained, equipped, and ready soldiers, units, and commands to meet the global requirements across a wide range of operations. The Army Reserve mobilizes in support of worldwide contingencies with active Army forces. Over the years, the Army Reserve transitioned from a strategic force used as a last resort to an operational force of first responders who join with the active Army to defend this great nation. The Army Reserve evolved over the past 105 years, but the overall mission remains the same. Since its inception, the Army Reserve has served in several major wars. The Army mobilized nearly 90,000 reserve officers for World War I. Soldiers were placed into newly organized units, trained, and then deployed to the war zone. From June 1940 through the beginning of World War II, the Army mobilized 26 Army Reserve Infantry Divisions, including more than 200,000 Army Reserve soldiers. World War II signified the beginning of a new era in national security and a new mission in which the Army Reserve would play a major role. After World War II, the U.S. faced new policies, where a large military force was required during peacetime to implement a new foreign policy. Units of the military force needed to be manned, trained, equipped, and ready to deploy at all times to a combat zone with just a few months' notice. The Korean War saw more than 240,000 Army Reserve soldiers called to active duty, and more than 70 Army Reserve units served in the war. That number reflected the Army's need for trained and ready soldiers during peacetime and wartime efforts. The lessons learned from the Korean War set the precedent for the Army Reserve readiness in future mobilizations. After Vietnam and the end of the draft, a new policy known as the Abrams Doctrine placed an increased reliance on the reserve units for rapid deployment. After 1967, the Army Reserve became more oriented to combat support and combat service support. The fall of the Berlin Wall and the end of the Cold War in 1989 led the U.S. to focus on implementing a global peacekeeping mission, a detailed military budget, and an active military force. Congress intended to leverage the reserve components to make up the difference. This required the Army Reserve to be equipped, manned, and trained at the same levels of the active Army. Over the next 20 years, the Army Reserve would serve as the Operational Reserve. To improve overall combat readiness, Congress created the United States Army Reserve Command, USARC, in October 1990 to provide a more centralized management. In 1990, the invasion of Kuwait led to the largest call-up of reserve personnel since the Korean War. More than 84,000 Army reservists provided combat support and combat service support. On September 11, 2001, terrorists attacked the World Trade Center in New York City and the Pentagon in Washington, D.C. Three days later, President George W. Bush ordered a partial mobilization of the reserve forces. Since the attacks of 9-11, the Army Reserve mobilized over 210,000 Army Reserve soldiers in support of the global war on terrorism. Since 1908, the Army Reserve's organizational structure developed, adapting to the changing security needs of our nation. The Army Reserve served across a multitude of wars and established one constant, the citizen-soldier ethos, represented by committed soldiers and civilians who are supported by employers and families. As we look to the future of the Army Reserve, it is the Chief of Army Reserve's intent to sustain a high-quality, all-volunteer, operational Army Reserve for Army and Joint Force missions both here at home and abroad. For the first time in history, the National Defense Authorization Act of 2012 enables Army Reserve action in response to state governors' requests for aid following natural disasters. A recent example of the Army Reserve's role in relief efforts was in 2012 during Hurricane Sandy. The Army Reserve dramatically transformed from its humble beginnings in 1908 from a pool of medical officers to an organization that provides trained, 
equipped, ready, and resilient soldiers into the 21st century.